Any questions? You stay up. This methodology, which you actually uh, explained to us very, very clearly, so I'll come down for that. Is this methodology rooted in authentic tradition, or is there something that's actually relatively new? What we have is something which is defective, something which is sinful. And I already pointed out that to you. I don't have to repeat it. You have a choice. If you want to remain with the existing system, then by all means continue with the existing system. But if you do that, you can take my word, your heart will continue to beat faster and faster. The test of the pudding is in the eating, even in the system. And the validity of the system of recitation, which I have explained, the validity is if you no longer perceive your heart moving faster and faster. So I don't need any mufti to give me a fatwa declaring this to be correct. No. Yeah. She wants to get more detail about end of time. Oh, no, 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 not for now. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? Yes, sir. Huh? And your parents? Sudan. Jamaica? Sudan. Or oh, Sudan. Any Caribbean people here? No one from the Caribbean, I'm all alone. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah, man, it's music. We'll stay in our way from Africa. We'll be in the Caribbean. We'll be in the Caribbean. He has a Caribbean accent, yeah. Yes. Which island? Which island? You... Jamaica. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you can hear him with another accent. Uh, any yes? For a little while, I've wondered about uh, you know Yom Juma, the third Juma. We make it on Friday every week, but if the months are changing in the lunar calendar, how is that possible that it can fall on a Friday every week? No, 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 no. The Sabbath, the Sabbath day. It's Saturday, the day that comes after Friday, the Sabbath day. And they have the Sabbath day, we don't have it. No, I come here. They have the Sabbath day. Whether they're following the Sabbath day or not is a different matter. What we have is not the Sabbath day. What we have is at the end of six days, we are told in the Quran six times. Six times in the Quran that Allah created the Samawat and the earth in six days. So on the seventh day, when, regardless of what day of the week it is, on the seventh day, this heart must remember that Allah created the heavens and earth in six days. Yes, any more questions? Uh, just want to know your view about the, there's a theory of flat earth. Uh, Arzul uh, what is your view about that? Uh, right, we hold that for a little while. Any questions on today's lecture? Do you know what people... Uh, you ask a question already, a second question or first? First. First, first go ahead. Do you know when people ask about Umar for Ramadan, they, they follow, for example, Pakistan or Saudi Arabia, is that... Why don't they look out for their own window? We have like to look for the moon every month, not just Ramadan. Otherwise, forget it, you wasted your time coming here tonight. You have to recite the Quran once a month. So every month you will begin the Quran with the new moon. And which new moon you're going to begin with? Is it the new moon that they see in Timbuktu or in Buenos Aires? Huh? When will you think? It's the moon above your head. That's the moon. So if they want to follow a Saudi moon, tell them, go ahead. You belong to them, you don't belong to us. We want a different system of time. If people want to be jahil, let them be jahil. 
You should not be jahil, you should be people of knowledge. If you follow this system, then you will no longer perceive time moving faster. That's the proof. Only one man here in this gathering, only this one. He's the only one who is not perceiving time moving faster. Why? Because he's following this system of reciting the Quran. Now the Christian has to tell me, the Hindu has to tell me, the Jew has to tell me, the Buddhist has to tell me, what do you have to solve this problem? This is what I have. I have the Quran. Okay? Quran didn't come from me alone. If you choose not to accept the Quran, tell me what you have. Okay? Yes. You say you recite the Quran. Do you think it's better to have knowledge before reciting? Because in Islamic country, sometimes they take advantage and they get money when they recite for people. This has to stop from age seven. From age seven to age ten, the child is learning to recite the Quran, even to memorize the Quran. The child is not have any understanding of the Quran. The child is not studying the Quran at that age, no. By the time the child reaches the age of ten, the child should be reciting the whole Quran. Okay? But don't force the child, let the child love the Quran until eventually you get your child to recite the whole Quran. And of course the best time is in the morning. The best time. The Prophet would manage his time so well that he would never go to sleep until he has finished his juice for the day. Never sleep without completing his juice for the day. Sometimes I can't do it. But this is not by design, this is by accident. Hmm? But the next day I have to do two instead of one. But he was a master of management of time. I want that mastery. So never mind, you cannot finish it one day, you have to do it the next day. Do it again. But the best way is to complete your Jews every day. If you're not, even Arabs, I found reciting the Quran and they don't understand what they're reciting. Because they are Arabs, but they don't speak Arabic anymore. If Nabi Muhammad were to return and they speak to him in Arabic, he wouldn't understand what they say. <laughs> the Prophet would not understand what this Arab is saying because he's not speaking Arabic. He's speaking dialects of the Arabic language, more called slang language. <laughs> Algerian Arabic and Moroccan Arabic and this Arabic and the other Arabic. But not the Arabic that the Prophet could have. Understand that the Quran is not slang language. So if you do not understand what you're reciting, of course, you have to make the effort to understand what you're reciting. But that comes after. Recita reciting the Quran comes first. Understanding the Quran comes second. Studying the Quran comes third. Any more questions? What's the connection between fasting the 13, 14, and 15 and the moon? The, the fasting of the, the call the Ayyamul Bi, the 13th, when the 13th day has ended, not the 13th day, the 13th day has ended, then you have the first night of white. When the 14th day has ended, when the 15th day has ended. These are the three days you fast, the Sunnah of the Prophet. But this is not connected with the recitation of the Quran. No. Okay, we intend to flatter it now. No more questions? Okay. The people who hold the view that the earth is flat do so because of the understanding of ayat of the Quran. It is their interpretation of the Quran. Okay? And uh, when we 
interpret the Quran, uh, then uh, only Allah can confirm that an interpretation is correct. Um, I extended an invitation to those who believe that the earth is flat. I say to them, if the earth is flat, it could not be flat infinitely. It could not be infinitely flat. It has to end somewhere. It has to end somewhere. It cannot be infinitely flat. And if the earth is flat, it has to be flat where I'm standing. I don't have to go to the North Pole for it to be flat. If it's flat where I am standing, and if it's not infinitely flat, I said, would you join with me? Let's travel to the end of the earth where it's flat, where it ends. Please join with me, all those who are convinced that the earth is flat, please join with me. And let us travel from where we are standing. Let us travel to the end of the earth. If we keep on traveling in one direction and we return to where we started, what would be the implication? My teacher did it five times. He left Karachi, traveling west, and returned to Karachi from east. And he did it five, five times. <coughs> so he was able to provide five proofs. <laughs> there was no end to the earth. So the earth cannot be flat, but if you still believe it is flat, then please join me, let's travel to the end of the earth. Any more questions? If not? Yeah. What's the relationship between Shaitan and the Dajjal? What's the relationship between Shaitan and the Dajjal? Is there? Shaitan is Iblis. And the Shayateen are Jinn who are Kuffar and who follow Iblis. No jinn has been created evil. A jinn possesses a free will. This is my lecture on Saturday in London, Saturday. A jinn has a free will to choose to either reject or to worship. Uh, and a jinn has capacity for knowledge pursue knowledge independently. And so on judgment day a jinn will be judged by Allah and go to Jannah to Jahannam. But not the Jah. He's not a jinn. No. Nor is he a human being, although he will appear as a human being. The Jah is not a human being, he will appear as a human being. Then what is he? Anybody? Huh? Don't be afraid. What does the Quran say about him? What does the Quran say? Be afraid. That's right. But I don't know why they're afraid. <laughs> This is a lecture on Saturday. Don't ask me to deliver it tonight. Please don't ask me to deliver it tonight. Okay. Come to London on Saturday. The Quran, the Jal, the Quran, and the Jasad. It's a lecture on Saturday in London. Okay, thank you very much. My books at the back. You can bring them up to me and I'll give you the I'll autograph them for you.
ربنا تقبل منا انك انت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا انك انت التواب الرحيم برحمتك يا رب العالمين امين